So hi, I'm Sven Lepshi, and behind me is a Waco float plane YMF-5. Wacos were built from 1920 to 1947 in Troy, Ohio. The company was revived in 1983, and this is actually a 2017 model. The company produces a tail gear model as well as the amphibian model. It has a classic and beautiful look with modern avionics and controls. It can seat three people with one in the back and two in the front. On this day, it was actually Laura taking her up in the air on a flight. Unfortunately, it was a bit windy for water landing, so we just took it on a tour of Miami Beach. Sven brought along a Pilatus on float, which I used to catch some great shots of the Wacko. So let's meet Sven and learn more about this piece of aviation history. I, I got into aviation about 30 years ago. I uh, started as an airplane mechanic in Frankfurt uh, for Lufthansa, and uh, I became so interested in aviation, fixing airplanes, working on them, that one day we had to go in the simulator for our training, and I told myself, you know what, you don't have to f fix airplanes, you really want to fly airplanes. So that's how I got into, that sparked me into the, uh, into the flying aspect of uh, aviation. Right now I'm the CEO of Waco Aircraft Company and uh, we manufacture Waco airplanes, tailwheel and float planes. So this airplane is just the biggest joy what you can just imagine. Um, it's you, mainly for private use. I mean it's not a corporate airplane, it's, it's a fun airplane to fly. Um, it, uh, it's something what you want to take, you can take every day and uh, fly around and uh, have a good time and we have uh, like I said, it's on floats, and uh, back two years ago, I got my float, float rating, and that really got me inspired into uh, more float flying, and it's a total different experience as a pilot. So this one is technically an experimental, but we're in the process of getting it Part 23 certified, so um, it, uh, it takes engineering work and uh, time with the FAA to get it certified, but uh, we're very close. It. We have traditional tailwheel and floats. Uh, in in the past year, we got mixed uh, uh, orders, so half our floats and half our wheeled airplanes. It goes up to about 120 miles an hour, but um, you can fly it as, as short as uh, as slow as about 80 miles an hour, and so about 100 miles an hour is a good cruising speed. And uh, obviously, in this type of airplane, you want to fly low, and that's really the fun aspect of it. So, uh, it takes about three hours until you have to refuel again, 100 miles an hour. And uh, so it's um, just a, a blast to fly. The engine, that's a, it's basically a new engine. Um, we, it's a zero time uh, Jacobs radial engine and uh, with 300 horsepower and absolutely overhauled zero time on it. And uh, so if you look at the engine, it's a brand new engine. So basically there's a bunch of cores and there's a company who recreates and, and overhauls all these engines. The propeller is, uh, it's a, a composite compeller, propeller from uh, MT. So uh, that, that's, a, that's a great um, addition. And a constant speed prop too, which uh, gives you flexibility doing cruise speed, getting a little bit more efficient with the airplane. It's aluminum, yeah, and then the wings are fabric basically, but uh, it's just like a recreation of the 1920, 1940, to the specs of the, like, 2020. It takes a little bit longer on, on the water to accelerate and all that, but within about five, six seconds you're airborne after you put the 300 horsepower forward and uh, you can go, you're right on the step after within 10 seconds and it's, it's just an amazing airplane and uh, I was actually surprised how quick it goes up in the air. So uh, www.wacoaircraft.com and uh, can order one, can come to the factory. We have demo airplanes all around the country and uh, takes you right now between six and nine months to uh, get delivery of it. And at this point, we are expanding uh, Battle Creek in uh, Michigan, um, double the size what we have right now. 
and uh, we're increasing the capacity and we have received a lot of good feedback, positive feedback and uh, lots of orders in, lots of interest. Right now we make about 12 a year and we're going to ramp up next year probably about 15 to 20. They should know that it's such a fun airplane to fly. I mean, if you are into seaplane flying, this is open cockpit seaplane flying and that is just the absolute pinnacle of aviation. That it's, it's something what you cannot do every day and it's just it blew me away when I when I first did it and it was just the best thing ever. Sven flew into Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport to meet me for the flight. And we also filmed the Pilatus on floats, which you'll see in a later video. I'm not supposed to touch the pedals, right? Yeah, we're not supposed to, but uh, <laughs> accidentally, that's okay. Unfortunately, we weren't able to record the cockpit audio, but it's still pretty cool. South Beach is a beautiful backdrop for this beautiful airplane.
yes, Laura still has that smile on her face. Unfortunately, the wing camera battery died, and of course it's a radial engine which puts out a lot of oil, so the tail camera got a little smeared with oil. Flying Doodles, please click the like button and the subscribe.